Talent hits a target no one else can hit. Genius hits a target no one else can see. Compassion is the basis of morality. A man can be himself only so long as he is alone, and if he does not love solitude, he will not love freedom, for it is only when he is alone that he is really free. Mostly it is loss which teaches us about the worth of things. Every man takes the limits of his own, feel the vision for the limits of the world. Happiness consists in frequent repetition of pleasure. It is difficult to find happiness within oneself, but it is impossible to find it anywhere else. The person who writes for fools is always sure of a large audience. They tell us that suicide is the greatest piece of cowardice, that suicide is wrong, when it is quite obvious that there is nothing in this world to which every man has a more unassailable title than to his own life and person. Every miserable fool who has nothing at all of which he can be proud, adopts as a last resource pride in the nation to which he belongs. He is ready and happy to defend all its faults and follies tooth and nail, thus reimbursing himself for his own inferiority. One should use common words to say uncommon things. Compassion for animals is intimately associated with goodness of character, and it may be confidently asserted that he who is cruel to animals cannot be a good man. Life is a constant process of dying. We forfeit three-fourths of ourselves in order to be like other people. A sense of humor is the only divine quality of man. A high degree of intellect tends to make a man unsocial. We will gradually become indifferent to what goes on in the minds of other people when we acquire a knowledge of the superficial nature of their thoughts, the narrowness of their views, and of the number of their errors Whoever attaches a lot of value to the opinions of others pays them too much honor. It is a wise thing to be polite. Consequently, it is a stupid thing to be rude, to make enemies by unnecessary and woeful incivility is just as insane a proceeding as to set your house on fire, for politeness is like a counter 
an avowedly false coin with which it is foolish to be stingy. It would be better if there were nothing, since there is more pain than pleasure on earth. Every satisfaction is only transitory, creating new desires and new distresses, and the agony of the devoured animal is always far greater than the pleasure of the devourer. Treat a work of art like a prince. Let it speak to you first. Great men are like eagles and build their nest on some lofty solitude. So the problem is not so much to see what nobody has yet seen, as to think what nobody has yet thought concerning that which everybody sees. Life swings like a pendulum, backward and forward, between pain and boredom. No rose without a thorn, but many a thorn without a rose. Hope is the confusion of the desire for a thing with its probability. We can regard our life as a uselessly disturbing episode in the blissful repose of nothingness. Marrying means to have one's rights and double one's duties. The safest way of not being very miserable is not to expect to be very happy. Every parting gives a foretaste of death, every reunion a hint of the resurrection. The shortness of life, so often lamented, may be the best thing about it. Almost all of our sorrows spring out of our relations with other people. There is no more mistaken path to happiness than worldliness. Faith is like love. It does not let itself be forced 